I'm Mike and this is Aaron and we are Auto E Clinic. Today we have a 2002 Chevrolet Cavalier with a 2.2 Ecotec motor. Now I've already been into this motor and I know what's going on. Aaron you haven't seen it yet but I have a surprise for you and you the viewers. All right I like surprises. <laughs> you want to take a look? Let's go for it man. Okay. Check it out. This car came in for a misfire. I went and drove it. It's got a dead miss. Had a code a P0302 which is a cylinder 2 misfire. Right now we're going to pull off the coil rail. Aaron, you want to explain what that's about? Yes, the coil rail on this particular car here is integrated. Uh, normally you would have a spark plug, plug wire, and that would go to a coil. However, this unit here has the coil spark plug loop made together. So all you got to do is pull the main rail off and it includes the module on it after you unplug it. I think GM's first design on this was the old Quad 4. Is that right, Aaron? Yes, sir. And that ignition housing gave a lot of problems. Yeah. We haven't seen a lot of problems out of these. I don't personally. Do you, Aaron? No. You can see here, this entire assembly is covered in coolant. And if you look here, there's coolant in the spark plug holes and on top of the valve cover for that matter. The coolant is in the spark plug holes. The spark plugs are in, the spark plugs are tight, the engine drove in here missing on one cylinder. But as the car sits, the spark plug holes fill up with coolant. I have never seen that. I didn't know it was possible. Obviously the head is cracked. At this point it's going to have to have a new head. But this is one of the rare problems, one of the rare times you'll see this. I'm, I've never seen it or heard of it. To give you a better idea of what's happening here, Mike is going to hook up a pressure tester to the coolant system. What this is going to do, this is going to pump pressure and going to simulate the coolant system in operation under correct temperature. As you can see, Coolant is rising out of this spark plug hole. And this is what's happening under driving conditions. Ladies and, ladies and gentlemen, that is not a magic trick. I have never in my life seen this. Uh, safe to say, we probably do have a cracked head. I've never seen this happen. When this car was brought in, the customer complaint was a dead miss. Of course, the code was a cylinder two misfire. We did a compression check to verify, what, to get an idea what was going on. I had very, very low compression on cylinder one. At that point, to kind of give me an idea if it was rings or top end, I put a cap full of oil in the cylinder and then rechecked compression. At that point, my compression readings went off the chart. The compression readings overall were not consistent with the normal operating engine compression readings. We let the car sit overnight at that point, brought it back in the next day, pulled the coal rail back off, and that's when we found the water. <laughs> Imagine our surprise, right? Exactly. So we kind of put two and two together from there. That's when we did a compression test on the cooling system. We saw the cooling coming up out of the coming out of the cylinder head. With the spark plugs in there. And it's just something I've I've never run across before, Aaron. How about you? I have never run across that before either. Now I have seen coolant come out of the head when the spark plug was out. Correct. Uh, you know, like a leak inside, but never one where your spark plug's still in and it's actually coming through the head. That's not supposed to happen. <laughs> no. No, I've never seen it happen. So, kind What do you think uh, maybe caused it on this head? The only thing that makes any kind of sense is a cracked head. Mm -hmm. Right? And uh, you think maybe it could have been an inconsistency in the casting or maybe a heat issue? Or what do you think? You think it was a casting issue? It wouldn't have waited for 200,000 miles in this case. You don't think it would have been a heat issue. You think you'd have seen something else. The customer maybe would have told us something else. Right. She just said pretty much overall it just kind of started all at once. And that's why she was here. So it just cracked. I, don't, I can't tell you why. I, I, I don't know. Wow. <laughs> that's crazy. At this point, the, the best option with uh, the amount of mileage on the car is not to put a new head on a cell, or an engine with 200,000 miles. Definitely want to go engine assembly. You want to tell us a little bit about the difference between uh, the new or used, maybe the benefits of going uh, crate motor from the manufacturer? Yeah, on a situation like this where you may have to end up you know, replacing the engine, um, one thing about a crate motor, you get it usually from the manufacturer, go to your dealership, 
And what they have, they have a warranty on them. Usually they have a year slash mileage warranty. A lot of the parts are remanned. A lot of them are new. Uh, that's another benefit. Also, they have uh, on the warranty, it's usually good nationwide for all the manufacturers out there. If you're traveling somewhere and have an issue with it, as long as you have your receipt, then they'll take care of the problem. Another good thing about it, uh, using a newer remanufactured engine, if the manufacturer had a flaw or a design issue, that's usually fixed with a reman or new engine. Uh, given yep. the age of this car, if they had any issues with uh, any problems in it, those are already repaired and designed out of it, so you don't run into those issues again. Uh, that's a lot of the benefits of a newer reman crate engine. Tell us what you know about a used engine. Used, depending on the motor and the cars going in and what's going on with it, if there is any problems previously or anything like that, some, any, some cars I have no problems going to use, no problems. Now the warranty on used is not very good. Yeah. What I usually see is a 90 day parts only warranty. Therefore, if this engine, we put a used assembly in there, it tears up in 40 days, the junkyard will send us another motor, but the customer's got to pay labor again. Exactly. As a customer, you may want to look at that and weigh your options. You know, it may cost you a thousand to fifteen hundred dollars less now, but you know, say six months down the road, you're paying the shop you know, another thousand dollars to put another used engine in, so that's something you may want to wait. That doesn't in. make any, any customer happy. No, wouldn't make me happy. Now there are some used, or salvage yards, I think they call them now, junk yards, but yeah. let's use politically correct terms, salvage yards. Salvage yards. <laughs> now some of them will, I've seen do a six month to a year parts and labor warranty. But when I've added it up, it's not worth it. At that Get point, I would, I'd much, <laughs> at that point, I usually advise the customer, you know, let's, at, we're probably looking at a couple hundred dollars difference at that point to get a crate motor from the manufacturer. And if you can afford it, that's usually your best bet. If the car's worth it, you know, it's, it's not my decision. I'm just here to present you with options. But if you can do it, the best option is to go back to the manufacturer. Exactly. Just use this as kind of way your options on what you want to do. Now, once again, just depends on what's going on with the car and everything else. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So, so we thank you for tuning in to Auto E-Clinic. Uh, check us out on YouTube. Subscribe to our channel. Check us out on Facebook, Twitter. Like us. Subscribe to us. Uh, if you have any questions or concerns or any future episodes you'd like to see, email us at info at, auto, at gmail. Sorry, info at gmail.com. Now you can go to autoeclinic.com and also submit your information on the contact us page. Uh, we'll try to get with you within two to three days. Great. Um, and Aaron, have you ever seen cats around a Chinese restaurant? Come to think of it, I have not seen cats around a Chinese restaurant. Huh. Coincidence? Food for thought.